Welcome back to the Homeowner's Cookbook. Today, I wanted to talk about this little device right here, which is a Shoreline paint edger. And there's other models, other types of paint edgers out there. And there's mixed reviews on whether they work or not. And I think it kind of depends on your technique and how you use them. It's pretty nifty, less than five bucks at like your big box store. You can replace the pads. So as that gets worn out, uh, you can replace those and it's used to cut in around trim. So if I were to go over here, could use this to cut in along the trim. It's got two little rollers on this side here and that's what you roll against the trim or in my case here with the remodel I'm doing in this room, there's actually gonna be two tones. So that's gonna be an accent wall and that's going to be a more standard white color. So what I could do here, is I could run this down the edge here. And the traditional method would be to use a paintbrush and a steady hand and just go down the edge of the trim or in my case, the corner. Or you could tape off the trim, you could tape off the corner on this side and then paint up to that tape. There's pros and cons with either method. One, I'm not a professional painter. And so using a paintbrush without a lot of practice uh, sometimes doesn't work very well. Taping is a bit of a pain because it doesn't always work right. And then when you peel it off, sometimes if you don't do it right. It takes a paint. Cause again, I'm a homeowner and these aren't things that I do on a daily basis. So this little guy right here actually works really well for me. I think it works well. So what I wanted to do is show you how I use it. I just take a pan here that I would have my roller in and I use that as the, the dish for my paint and this. And then I always keep a paintbrush handy whenever you're painting just to clean up. But with this and a roller, you can pretty much take care of walls because you can use this to get around trim, to get around outlets. So you take the outlet covers off and then you just go around with this. And it works very similar to a paintbrush and gives you that nice clean edge. Let's jump into it. I'm gonna pour some paint in this thing and I'll show you how to use it. So what you're gonna do is take the edger and the most important thing here is to not dip it too deep into the paint. You don't wanna get paint on these rollers. That's the most important aspect here. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of dab it in the paint a little bit. You can see it picks that up a little bit. And then what I usually do is I just give it a little scrape on the edge here. And then what we can do is take this and run it against roller side against either the trim or the side of the door. So let me tilt this up. And then what we can do is we can take this and we can run it right down the edge here, giving us a beautiful edge. You have to refill it often, which is, I guess, a downside. But as we do this, we can get right in here. Beautiful. So I'll use this up the whole edge there. I've found as long as you don't get too much paint in that pad and you don't get paint on the rollers, this thing works great. I would recommend it. And we've used it on a couple of rooms that we've painted. I'll be using it here. It got to refill it quite often with paint because if you don't, you'll end up putting just too thin of a layer on. So keep that in mind. Refill often, don't fill it too full. Be mindful of that and this thing works really well. So I hope this was helpful if you're curious if these things even work or if it's a gimmick. It works for me and you just gotta keep a couple of those things in mind. It's so cheap that to me, it just saves a lot of the headache of trying to cut in and have a steady hand with a paintbrush. Everyone has their different opinion, but hopefully this was helpful for you. You know, it's hard to know if these things are gimmicks or not. And I can say for me at least, this works really well. I'll use this to cut in everywhere. It's a few days later, but I wanted to give you an update now that I've got both the accent wall and the other wall painted. Apologize for the bad lighting. It's nighttime here, as you can see outside. And I just put a little joint compound there, but I wanted to show you now that both walls have been painted, it worked really well. I used the edger both with the dark and then once that dried with the light, and the two together, I don't know, I was editing the video and I noticed that 
it, you can still see a little bit of the old paint down uh, when I did the sample, but once you do both sides and they come together, it creates a, a nice clean edge there. And one more thing, the harder you press on the edger, the closer it gets to the corner or the trim or whatever you're working against. So just wanted to make uh, just a couple of notes there. Thanks guys for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time.